vestigial organs are organs, tissues or cells in a body which are no more functional the way they were in their ancestral forms of the triad. It is authentication of evolution and hence were helpful in explaining adaptation. Such a structure can arise due to gene mutation which cause a change in the proteins. These mutated proteins result in the formation of vestigial structures. In the population, the occurrence of such structures may however increase if it is beneficial enough. Snakes have evolved to slither as they no longer have legs excluding some snakes who still possess rear legs. In humans, the appendix is a good example of a vestigial organ. The non-functioning organ eventually degenerates, shrinking in size, disappearing ultimately. Examining vestigiality should be begun by drawing similarities with their counterparts with respect to their homologous features. The exposure of this occurs through various processes of evolution, one of which is the loss of function of a feature that is not subjected to positive selection pressures in accordance with its surroundings. Vestigial organs vary from being pointless to favorable based on the selection. Some structures, due to less or no utility, degenerate over a period of time to avoid consequences of genetic drift or selective pressures. Sinuses Human cheekbones hold the maxillary sinuses. The face consists of pockets of hair called sinuses. It has no significant use but infection can lead to sinusitis. They are lined with soft pink tissues called mucosa. Normally, the sinuses are empty except for a thin layer of mucus. The inside of a nose has ridges called turbinates. Normally, these structures help humidify and filter air. A thin wall called the septum divides the nose. Most of the sinuses drain into the nose through a small channel or drainage pathway that doctors call the middle meatus. Appendix It is one of the most commonly known vestigial organs. The finger-like tube closed at one end arises from the vermiform process. In prime ancestors, the appendix is believed to have fought about the digestion of cellulose. Today, scientists predict that the appendix play a role in digestion by bacteria. Coccyx It forms the last part of the vertebral column, the residue of the lost tail, and is often termed as the tailbone. It is observed during human embryologies. This formed as the centerpiece of the theory of recapitulation. Wisdom tooth forms the third set of the molars in our buccal cavity. They may have been significant in the past for achieving rough and raw food but in modern times, as they are inaccessible and remote, it causes pain and infection. External ear The helix or outer rim of the ear is known to be vestigial structure. Underdeveloped muscles in the ear make us incapable to bring about the movement of ears. Darwin's tubicle is a vestigial feature present on the juncture of the upper part of the ear. Dictating membrane The plica semilunaris is a fold of conjugative at the inner corners of the human eye. Its likeness to the nictitating membrane or third eyelid of other animals led to the idea that it might be the vestige of such a structure, which is still part of the eye in some primates, including gorillas. In the chimpanzee, however, one of the human species' closest relatives, the plica semilunaris also appears to be vestigial. The function of the nictitating membrane in many animals is protective. For example, keeping the eye clean or moist or consoling the iris from predators. In some species, the membrane is sufficiently transparent so to enable vision when underground or underwater. Though the reason for the loss of nictitating membrane in humans is unclear, changes in habit and eye physiology may have rendered the tissue unnecessary. Tonsils The tonsils remain as vestigial organs in the human body. They act as the first line of defense and protect the body from harmful microorganisms that are either inhaled or ingested by the body. Few other vestigial organs are The snakes are believed to have descended from the lizards. Their legs grew smaller and smaller until a small bump was left at the back of the some of the largest snakes like python. Blindfish and salamanders still possess eye structures but live in caves. It is believed that mutations in genes that increase the taste buds degraded their eyes. Cockroaches have wings. The wings that are present on the females do not facilitate flying. The Galopagos cormorants have wings which are non-functional. These birds are believed to have turned into flightless birds about 2 million years ago. The whale shark is a filter feeder. It consists of rows of teeth that cannot bite anything.